Brick Queen and Brick Titan here with a movie review for you guys of the brand new Jurassic World movie. We just got home from the theater and it, it was, was awesome. It was, it was so, so awesome. great. <laughs> and we want to review it for you guys. One thing though, guys, this spoiler alert. <laughs> Total, a this, lot of spoilers. <laughs> this video is going to be like one big spoiler if you haven't seen the movie. So, if anyone does not want spoilers, now is the time to leave because we are going to get really in depth into this because we yep. loved the movie. Yep, it was great. So, you want to start us off? Talk about the beginning of the movie? So, basically, in the beginning of the movie, you have the egg kind of hatching scene with the Indominus Rex. But it also shows the Indominus or the Indominus Rex sibling, which was really cool, and it showed one hatching really fast, and the other one hatching really slow, which showed that one was going to be really violent and the other one wasn't, which is really really cool. Which is why the one that we see all the time ate its sibling, ate its sister, basically, and I thought that was, that was really cool. Hardcore. That <laughs> I mean, the egg scene is where the the movie starts off and it's it's actually really really cool um, and then they actually don't take that much time to actually get to the island no i i liked that it's not like a drawn out intro no, it's like bam you're at the island yeah, and, and really you're through the, the gates point. and like you see everything epic that's <laughs> like the the mosasaurus like arena and you see like all the visitor center and the hotels and everybody's like hopping around and having and a good time. I'd say what, maybe the first 20 to 30 minutes of the movie, everything's going great and yeah, people are like wonderful. In, in the petting and, zoo, playing with like little oh, baby the triceratops. Zoo. The petting zoo is amazing. Yeah. I, that's probably where I would spend all my time if I went to Jurassic World, because I love the little baby animal. Or, there was just know, a dinosaurs. lot of things in Jurassic World that were and cool. It was so cool when they went to see the Mosasaurus, because as you know, we, we see yeah, in the see trailer... The arena, but there's actually more to it. It like drops down, and you actually go into the aquarium and yeah, see the, the entire thing. The whole thing. seating all the way around it. Just like You get to see down. it feed at the top, and then all the seats drop down, so you can see it from underwater. And they close the top part too, so it gets dark. Yeah, it's, get to see it is it's amazing. Cool. It's just really cool. And later on, whenever stuff does go crazy and you see the Mosasaurus again, you know Mo that part. Yeah. You know that part in the trailer where, where the you Mosasaurus is <laughs> eating that Pteranodon. There's actually a person on that Pteranodon too. Yeah, that Pteranodon was carrying um, Claire's assistant. So she actually, has a very bad job. <laughs> yeah, she was supposed to be watching the two boys, you know, Claire's nephews, but she kind of yeah. got lost, yeah. or well, they got. Well, she kind of got picked up and put there. Yeah, it was, was kind of. But before interesting. it gets off to that point, though, you it kind of pans back to like Chris Pratt and him and being Owen and training the Raptors, which they kind of go into more depth. Yeah, it was showing it was, all the Raptors and how they're really not trustworthy. Yeah, he, he didn't even want to trust the raptors. and Yeah, he even told him at that one point to get out of the pan, remember? He was like, yeah. shut the gate, and then he had to run out of the cage, which yeah, was and, really cool. And they even almost got him whenever he was running out of the cage. Yeah. They all four went after him, like nosedive. He raised them, but that doesn't mean anything to yeah, them. And, and he even talked about imprinting on them when they were born, just like John Hammond in the first movie. Yeah, that which is I thought so was awesome. Really nice throwback. They had so many like throwbacks yeah. to the old movies. It was like basically watching the modern Jurassic Park. Right, and but there was one thing that was not mentioned anywhere in the movie, and that was the Barbasol. Barbasol. <laughs> I would have loved to had some kind of mention of it. Yeah. I know that it, it shouldn't be there yeah, anymore, and it's but probably done for and gone, but it would have just been cool. They were like, hey, yeah. look, there's a can of Barbasol on the ground. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> anything like that would have been great. What's this? <laughs> because, like, they did actually get to go see the original yeah, visitor, visitor center. center. And they actually got to ride around in real Jeeps, like the original one. Yeah, the, like, the two boys managed to get one of those old Jeeps that had been sitting there for 22 yeah, years, 22, right? Yeah, and the actual banner that fell in the old one with the T-Rex is actually the torch. Yeah, that in, like in that kind of made one. me sad. That yeah, he, I was like, kind of the, sad that they burned he, the torch. I was like, man. Yeah, he took the banner and like wrapped it around a dinosaur bone and, and lit, lit it on fire. It, and then he was like, torch. And yeah, I mean, like, like it was cool, but it was like, but it was like, the man, don't burn, don't burn <laughs> that <the> banner. banner. <laughs> <laughs> and, but. Man, like, there were so many awesome dinosaurs. But the Indominus Rex was scarier. The Indominus Rex is scarier 
than what you see in the trailers. Yeah, and it is like way more. And the hardcore. reason that like the the like the Lego version, I've got them over here. Like the, the Lego Indominus Rex and the Lego T Rex are about the same size. Is because it was not fully it, grown yet. Yeah, they in the movie they actually are close to the same size. But this isn't fully grown. <laughs> Which makes it more terrifying. Way more terrifying. Like that. And ugh. the fact that it can camouflage itself and like it isn't heat. Like it, it can't give oh off a gosh. heat signature. Like, and... oh, it. The, the way. Okay. The way it got out of the cage. That was. It just was, tricked people. Like, like it that literally was scary. just tricked people. It scratched the wall. Everybody sees the, the trailer where it scratches the wall. It was just hiding in the cage because it just wanted out, and yeah, it the, knew it could trick people to get out that way. Yeah, with the cuttlefish, it has camouflage, and then... With the frog, tree frog, Yeah, they think. messed it up again. <laughs> with tree frog DNA. Yeah, frog DNA, same thing that ruined them in the first movie. Yeah. They did it again. What? Yeah. Way to go there. <laughs> yeah. um, because that, like, the and tree Wu frog... was kind of a bad dude in this movie. Yeah, and Wu escaped again. Yeah, but he, <laughs> and he really was like, I don't work for you, I work for Injun. So I, I know Wu like Wu, he kind of took up a dark kind of being turn. Different now, it's different. Yeah, I wasn't it used expecting yeah. that. Now that the other guy, um, Hoskins. Yeah, Hoskins. He um, was a bad dude, but yeah, he gets but, his fate really good. He does. Which raptor was it? This blue, blue. Yeah, that's what I thought. Blue totally like bit his hand because no, like, he was like he was like he was like oh I'm part of you I'm your friend or whatever <laughs> and it's just like chomp and then like it just goes to town and they're all running away and then he just eats yeah it, like everything yeah like, instead it, of like showing him get eaten they just blood splatter yeah it's like it's blood splatter done. that's like their thing though yeah <laughs> I mean just... like but it was cool like and Miss Ronnie. That guy was the man. Like, he, he, like I thought, I he, thought was he was gonna, gonna be, be a bad guy. Yeah. yeah, and then he ended up just being like straight up the man. Yeah, like, it was. He was so just like cool. I'm going down, and like the helicopter scene that you, that you see in the trailers where like it just blows apart. That was totally was Ronnie like yeah, piloting he was that stuff, that. and like a pteranodon just flies through there, kills his little passenger guy, and he's like, Ugh, and then like they clap like. Yeah. This pteranodon, <laughs> if I can actually pick mine up here, it just flies through the helicopter, and it just like pierces this guy's chest, yeah, it, and like, it just nose dived into the helicopter. I was like, and just then, stab and, the and guy. That's when sitting it crashes and him. goes through the whole bird cage thing. And yeah, and it was, like it was crazy. Oh man, it was crazy. But there were so many like dino fights in that. Oh, movie. dude, the like, like the last. Okay. The Ankylosaurus oh, yeah, fought it put up, Indominus Rex. And it was doing really yeah. well. It, like, held itself off it, for, it like, really did like pretty a few well. minutes. And then Indominus Rex, like, just knocked kind of flipped it over, it over its and belly, then started eating it. And then, like, you know, totally, bit like, off. bit its head off. Which was kind of sad, but, I mean, like, I like the Ankylosaurus, and I thought it was really cool to see yeah, those two that battle. That was just a really, really awesome scene in the entire movie. Now, I do have to say I was sad about one thing. This yes. is not in the movie. That is totally not there. You at see all. it on a computer screen for like a split second and then it's gone. Which brings That's up the it. Dilophosaurus as well. It yeah. is only a hologram in the movie. Which yep, was you... kind of sad, but like the blue starts fighting it for a minute. And yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, blue actually. like runs into it and they turn the holograms on and it's a Dilophosaurus doing its little. Yeah, blue fin, tried to or, attack like, the hologram. Like, frill thing and then it started fighting it for a minute and it was kind of confused and they kind of got out of there. Yeah, for a second. Yeah. And then they got cornered by three of the four raptors. Yeah, and then that's when Indominus showed back up, and then that's when the big fight starts happening. Which, I like, I don't think we've even mentioned the fact that they realized that Indominus Rex is part raptor, and Indominus became the alpha raptor in yeah, that Yeah, for pack. a minute there. Well, yeah, for a little while, and yeah, then, it you just kind of like, like, the whole scene where they're like, the, like, all the chaos is breaking out in the park, and basically Owen has to get his raptors together, and they, they go searching for the Indominus Rex, and when they actually find the Indominus Rex, the Indominus Rex starts talking to the raptors, and they turn on their human people, yeah. and then they just start eating the people, and then Owen's like, we gotta get out of here, yeah. and like, that's just, it was crazy, but awesome. Yeah, it was so awesome, like, th th but... The best part of the movie is like the last ten minutes of the, the movie. Yeah, the last ten minutes. There's an there's epic like a fight. big fight. Like, and Mosasaurus comes back in an 
epic way. Yeah, because, like, like the T-Rex... totally unexpected to see Mosasaurus part of this fight. Claire gets the T-Rex, and she comes out, and she has a flare, and she leads it out to go fight the Indominus Rex while Owen is, like, gun-battling the Indominus Rex and a, ra a pack of raptors. Yeah. And then, like, the T-Rex comes out, and then they start battling, and then the Indominus Rex kind of gets over the T-Rex, and he's like, I'm gonna kill you. And then... Things like some more raptors show up, and then they start like kind of confusing the T Rex, and or I mean the Indominus Rex, yeah. and then the T Rex gets the upper hand, starts battling him over to the Mos or Mosasaurus pit, and then Mosasaurus just and that's it for Indominus Rex. Yeah, M Mosasaurus took Indominus yeah. Rex down totally, to a watery yeah. grave. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, 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 really and then cool. and then the T Rex and the raptors are all like buddies at the end. They're like, yes, yeah, because like friends. right before like the whole T Rex coming out part, like. Um, basically, the raptors turned on Indominus Rex and was back on, you know, like, Owen's side. So Only for, like, a minute. He was like, I'm gonna be your friend for a second, because yeah. you raised me or whatever. Yeah, but then, you know, the raptors started attacking Indominus Rex, and sadly, I... If I understood correctly, I think only one raptor survived. Yeah, if, if you, because it was a pretty intense fight. I don't know who actually lived, but Blue, I think, was the only one that made it out. Blue definitely lived. We saw yeah. that. But, and not 100% sure on the other raptors. It sure looked like they died. Yeah, but, but they were kind of fighting it, hard towards yeah, you the You never end. know like, if they were like, able like, to get like up some sort of... Like, there's like a T-Rex involved in a Rex of raptors. Somebody's gonna die somewhere. Yeah, it was like, the last, like, five to ten minutes of the movie was just insane. And they had the T-Rex bust through the Spinosaurus skeleton just to oh, kind yeah. of pay homage to the fact that the T-Rex was more bad than the Spinosaurus. Yeah, and, and that was another thing. You don't see a live Spinosaurus anywhere in the movie. No, but um, you just kind of see the T-Rex busting through that. And the T-Rex had this really epic moment at the end of the movie, like it always oh, does. Oh, yeah, like coming out and standing on top of that building. Yeah, at the end of the movie, that's like the end of the movie. It's like the T-Rex standing on top of like where the helicopter or the helicopter pad is and it's yeah. just roaring and being like, yeah. I'm the boss of my island. Yeah, it's like, I'm the king of the jungle. Or well, queen, queen yeah. of the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> queen of... Isla Nublar, yeah, basically. That, and so, like, it was great. There was, like, a lot of sad scenes, though, like, when the Indominus Rex, like, eats all those... I don't remember, like, what the, the specific term... The ACU the, guys? The, well, no, those dinosaurs, off, those long neck ones, you know? Oh, the Brachiosauruses. Yeah, but I, I don't know if that's a Brachiosaurus. But anyway, because I think they had a different term for that, but I don't know. Yeah, There was, like, another kind of long neck dinosaur. Yeah, it may have been an Apatosaurus. Yeah, yeah I can't that's what it was. Yeah, I think And so they were just were. laying there, and they were kind of sad. They were like, oh, man, these dinosaurs are dying. And yeah, and they were like, the, it, the Indominus Rex isn't eating them, it's killing for sport. Which I think that's in the trailer. Yeah, it's in One the, of trailers, the trailers, but it's more sad when you watch the movie. Yeah, it is. Because, like, they're like, they have to go over and pet one before it dies. Yeah, and it's Owen like, and Claire oh. are kind of petting it, like, yeah. when it dies. And that, that was kind of, like, a really sad scene. Yeah, but it was cool. And then, finally, you have, like, the famous love scene at the end. <laughs> Where him and like Claire get to, or Claire and him get together, Owen. Oh, oh, which brings me to another point. Guess what? The absolutely most unbelievable part of the whole movie is. You'll you'll never guess it. It's the fact that Claire never loses her high heel shoes. And never she's falls. running through everywhere, like waterfalls, <laughs> jungles. Yeah, running everywhere. Like city and pavement. She's, she's got high heel shoes mud. on the entire time. High heel shoes and a skirt. Never no, no, trips there and was falls. like that whole point where like Owen was like, You need to get ready, like you're not ready for this and she just like pulls her sleeves up and like ties her shirt up and she's like, I'm ready. Yeah, no well <laughs> what was funny is she did that and just looks at him and he's like, What is that supposed to mean? And like <laughs> she's like, I'm ready to do this. <laughs> and so they just kinda go off on their adventure. They're trying to find those kids that got lost yeah. on the island. But I have to say, like, I think her not losing the high heel shoes or not falling at any point that is the most unbelievable part of this movie. I believe all the dinosaur stuff. I believe Indominus Rex before I believe that she ran through all <laughs> that without falling or losing the shoes. But it was a cool movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It is great. Yeah, if, if you, you want to take our word for it, <laughs> it is probably the best. It, it really truly is the sequel to Jurassic Park. It is it, great. It is amazing. And if you haven't seen it, we probably just ruined every part of the movie for you. But you shouldn't be watching movie reviews anyway <laughs> if you don't want to learn what the movie's all about. But even even if you haven't seen it at this point, 
it is still very much worth yes, watching because is. there are so many parts that we can't like. I mean, like, we can't sit here like, and it's one of the explain that I'm everything. Totally You've got to see I wanna it. I want to own and I want to watch it like three more times. Three? Yeah. A you mean three hundred? Yeah. <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. I mean, it, if if you had to rate it on a scale of one to ten. 10 being 52. the best. 52. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what yep. I would say, too. Yep. It was, it, it's, it was, it was great. the best. It was, the great, it was a great Jurassic Park movie. Uh, I, I was blown away, yep. and I was actually surprised by the ending. It was amazing. Yeah, it, it was and like a what, total surprise at the end. And what's really funny is he and I had been talking about, you know, how it was going to end for a while, yeah. and he sort of called I part of it. I figured a lot of it out. I yeah, knew that he... the Mosasaurus would have some part. I didn't know how big of a part, yeah. but it ended up being like and way he... bigger than I even thought and it was he... going to be. He's been telling me for weeks yep. that the movie was going to end with the T-Rex defeating the Indominus Rex, which was part of the final yeah. battle. It was so... all just kind of like one final big hurrah at the end with yeah. every dinosaur. Well, yeah, because the final battle had the T-Rex, Indominus Rex, Raptors, the Raptor, and, and the Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus. The only ones that weren't around were some, like, Pteranodons. That was about it. Yeah, and, well, they had been the, all yep. over the place. Oh, that was another thing. Um, oh, did you? That was a cool scene where they were all shooting those Pteranodons well, down. No, I'm, I'm talking about Claire. Yeah. You know, like, there's, like, this, like, basically a baby Dimorphodon. You know, one of the other yeah. Tyrannodon like ones um, that was attacking Owen. When they all start attacking the whole thing, like Owen starts like trying to shoot them off, and then one of them just shh, comes yeah, down like, and tries to attack him, and she has to be the yeah, one to use the gun. Yeah, Claire used the gun, and Claire. Like, shot killed. it like six times. She was yeah. like, choo, 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 choo. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like dead pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was and, and great. So that was really cool. Like, I'm glad they gave her that one moment where. Like it was like she saved the day in yeah, a way. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> but it was great. I, I don't know what to say. Like the whole movie was just yeah, amazing. Just in general, like, it was a great. It was a great Jurassic Park movie. I can't even pick like my favorite part of the no, movie. No, just like everything in it's great. It was like, like amazing it from start to finish. Be like fine with watching it three more times after <laughs> that. <laughs> Me too. And I, like when it comes out on, on DVD, I am definitely buying a copy. Like special super collector's edition exactly. version. Yeah. Ooh, I hope they make like a special tin that's like the shape of like one. Of, like, and put like a mini figure in it. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> yeah, like like a new Owen that's like dirty or something. No, they need to like make. Make a John Hammond minifig. Yeah, that would be great. Like, if, if you're we, listening. Yeah. If you're listening, a John Hammond minifig, even if you make, like, the statue version. Or, or anybody version from the first movie. We'll take an Alan Grant or an Ellie yeah, or, that, or anybody. No, that was really funny. We were looking at, like, the people that were there to see the movie with yeah, us. Yeah, there are so many people dressed up for that movie. Yeah, like, there was, And you wouldn't be surprised. You'd be like, surprised. There was, like, an Alan Grant, like, a Muldoon, an Ellie. There were, and then there, there was a dude that drove I, up with the Jeep. Yeah, they, they parked, like, a Jeep that looked just like the original Jeep out in front of the theater. Yep. And, like, I lost count of how many Ellie's there were. I know yeah, that I saw at least Ellie. three different ones. And there was a couple Allens. Yeah, and then there was a Muldoon. Yeah, there's just and, one guy dressed up like Muldoon. And Muldoon, one. like, the guy that dresses Muldoon probably did the best job on his costume. Yeah, he, he did. Like, was yeah, he had, on like, it. the best and everything. He was just Yeah, it was, it was great. I don't know, it was just really cool and, like, yeah, it was, I, it was I, great. I would be happy to go back and watch it again tomorrow night. Yeah, like, really I'm great. okay with that. But uh, anyway, I, I guess we've kept you guys yeah. long enough. Um, be sure to let us know your thoughts about um, the movie, if you've seen it already, in the comments below. And uh, let us know what you think about us doing movie reviews uh, together, because yeah. I, this is the first one we've done like this, well, right? Well, people have asked us to do it. We've just never got around to doing it. Well, that's true. <laughs> we, we just have to do so much on YouTube. We just don't get around to doing everything everybody wants, but we, yeah, okay. we try. We, we want to do so many more videos, but we there's, don't there's have no, the time. There's only 24 hours in a day. Now, if only there were 48 hours in a day, yeah. I think we could get everything done. And sleep. Yeah, <laughs> and duplicates of us. That would help. Yeah, that would help a lot. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I was trying to end this video, and then we got off on another <laughs> yeah. tangent. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. And uh, like I said, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and we will see you guys next time. Click here to check out more Jurassic Park and Jurassic World reviews, and don't forget to comment, like, favorite, and subscribe.